A Houston jury has awarded a local family more than $95 million, and this is after a life changing trip to the dentist six years ago. It was a simple routine appointment, and it left Nevaeh Hall with irreversible brain damage. Fox 26's Tiffany Justice spoke to the now 10 year old's family and joins us live with what they had to say. Tiffany. Right, this goes back to 2016. The family filing a civil lawsuit awarded $95.5 million, but the criminal case against this dentist continues. It changed her life and it changed our life. Mm -hmm. I mean, can you imagine if that was your child? You had a normal, healthy child. The family of now 10 year old Nevaeh Hall speaking after a state district court jury assessed damages of $95.5 million in the civil case against former dentist Nathaniel Jefferson, who since had her medical license revoked back in November of 2016. Things happen every day in the medical field, and that's understandable. But you do the right thing and you call 911. But that's not what she did. And she was so cold about the whole situation. Yeah. In 2016, Nevaeh and her mom, Carissa Clark, went in for an appointment for a broken tooth. Nevaeh left with severe brain damage, family says, after given seven different types of medication during that one visit, causing her to seizure. Nevaeh can no longer see, speak, walk, or eat on her own. She took a normal, healthy baby, very outgoing, very intelligent, but we don't know if she understands what's going on. If she know the difference, that there's something different about her, no one understands the hurt. This is my first granddaughter. And it breaks me every day that I feel like this. The family believes Jefferson did not care then and still does not care now about what happened to Nevaeh and hopes she will be held criminally accountable. In 2017, she was indicted by a Harris County grand jury. That case ongoing. Even though the family won't collect a dime, even though a jury believes that's how badly they've been harmed, this verdict will resonate across the country in these corrupt dental Medicaid offices. And every single one of those dentists has now been put on notice. Jim Moriarty, their civil attorney, says that. the family won't see a dime because they settled outside of court. When we got the verdict yesterday, it was heartbreaking. It was very heartbreaking. But I feel like not only should the dentist be held responsible, but I felt like the pharmacist should have been held responsible also. Now the jury did not find the pharmacist culpable. Jefferson is expected to be back in court next month for her criminal case. Reporting live, Tiffany Justice, Fox 26 News.